Howdy folks. Day Soap is brought to us from Soap Commander. You can see this is a pretty good size one here. It is uh, Endurance. It's uh, started out being about six ounces in the container here. And this is a classic spice scent. And that's what it looks like there on the inside. I scraped a little bit out and started in my uh, little wooden bowl here. It's not real big, the bowl, but it works just fine. And uh, it was whipped up with a brush from the, sh I don't know if you can see that, the Shave and the Sailor. It's got a cashmere so uh, knot in it, 24 millimeter. Nice scent. Uh, it, like like it says, it's a, it is a classic uh, spice scent. And um, off camera, I'll just go ahead and use the uh, matching aftershave balm uh, I got with this one here. I've uh, got this, uh, I've had this one here for a moment, um, just now getting to the point where I'm ready to use it. Um, this is a, a timeless aluminum razor. It's very lightweight. The, uh, the, the razor itself weighs about 1.7 ounces, roughly. Um, it's got a Persona blade in it, and you might be able to catch it if the light doesn't wash it out. Um... And it comes with a uh, with a stand. Now, if you're buying, I guess what you might refer to as the standard uh, razor, in other words, the one that's not from the scratch and dent, it'll run you about oh, was it seventy five dollars? I think it is. And uh, if you go to scratch and dent, uh, you can get to this as well as the stand for fifty bucks. And believe it or not, this one here, it's the scratch and dent. I don't know what's wrong with it. Can't really find anything that that's wrong with it. Looks fine to me. <laughs> It'll work probably just fine. Uh, this will be my first shave with it, so we'll see how it goes. Or to put a hot towel to the face this morning, and I probably should go ahead and show. Um, I use the uh, pre-shave oil from Mag Razors. This one here is Sweet Orange. Go ahead and get started with the face. Uh, this razor is pretty lightweight. And for 50 bucks, it's a with a stand that's that's a pretty good buy. Like I said, for me, I I haven't been able to figure out what's wrong with this one, but I don't have, I guess you might say, one uh, quote unquote standard one to compare to it to see what might be different about this one. But it looks just fine to me. In other words, I can't tell anything physically really wrong with it. The only thing, and I had to look and in other words, I, ha I pick it up, I look at it, really couldn't find anything. The more I got to thinking about it, the more I started looking at different areas to see if I could find something wrong with uh, this particular razor. And uh, the only thing I could see that maybe, just maybe, what might be the problem with it, the reason why it came from the scratch and dent, was because uh, on the cap, where the uh, scalloped uh, part is at, uh, when it comes to the edge of the cap, maybe it didn't turn out as smooth as what they expected. It looks fine to me, but when you know, rub my finger across it, on the underside, it seemed maybe a little bit rough, but maybe not as smooth as it could have been. I don't know. It, it looks and uh, the underside of the cap is not going to matter. Uh, like I said, it was just when you run your finger across, I couldn't really find anything wrong with it. So I'm expecting that it'll shave just fine. I'll put a link down below to the scratch and dent. And if you want, you can venture over to the other side. I guess you might say what I refer to as a standard razor. And you can uh, take a look at it and see what, from the pictures, I can't see anything different. At least not for me, I can't. It'll give you some information about the blade. I mean, the length of the razor, how much the stand weighs. I think it was 27 grams. Shave's pretty smooth. Can't really complain. I think, in other words, if you're looking to get this for... Uh, maybe a youngin that's in the house and you're not real sure how much you want to spend on one not knowing whether 
he or she is going to want to stick with it or not. Not have a whole lot of money. And you might enjoy using it yourself. 50 bucks is a pretty good buy. I couldn't resist. I had looked at it, and I had looked at it, and I had looked at it and decided one day, a while back, that I was going to go ahead and get it. I've had this probably for about a month, just trying to, I guess you might say, work it in. Had some other items I was wanting to use. So far for efficiency, okay, with a Persona blade, it's pretty smooth. Um, so far, it, it feels pretty good. Um, there is definitely enough after the first pass for a second pass. have to say the consistency of uh, Soap Commander as it goes for the soap base and the scent strength is pretty straightforward. In other words, it seems like all their soaps have got about the same soap strength, about the the soap base is always the same. So in other words, you're, when you get this, it's very consistent, which is something I like. It makes it easy to work with. Even though this is lightweight, it does a good job going across the face. You don't feel like you have to put a whole lot of pressure on it to keep it on your face. Persona's my, uh, I guess you might say, my go-to blade. And uh, so that's what I would use this one for. And um, it's working rather well. It's pretty nice. I guess you might say in a way, like this, this is mine, so if you bought another, if you buy a scratch and dent, maybe you might be able to find something wrong with it. I haven't been able to find anything wrong with it. It work, it works just fine. Looks fine. Save yourself a little bit of money. And it comes with a stand. That's the part that I thought was pretty cool. That price point, you get a stand to come right along with it. You can't complain. And it works really well with the Soap Commander Soap. I mean, it is kind of surprising that it's so smooth. I mean, you can feel the blade. You, I feel the blade cutting the whiskers, but you don't actually feel the blade. That That's, that's a huge plus for a lot of folks. Because, you know, some, you know, that's never seen a... Um, uh, a DE before have no idea what it's all about and then what little they might hear from somebody else about getting cuts and nicks and not saying that you can't but uh, this one here feels like it might give a, a new person a, a fair chance of getting a good shave without any nicks or cuts once they uh, I guess you might say develop their technique as well as they're going to have to learn how to lather. <laughs> for me, this this kind of lather works well for me. It's a little on the wet side. Yeah, you probably can't see, but it's it's a little drippy. You get a little blop every once in a while, but <laughs> this, like I say, Soap Commander, it just works well for me. Very consistent. As well as the price. In other words, uh, six ounces usually about fifteen bucks, and then the uh, three ounce I think is uh, right around ten dollars. I think uh, if I remember right, they're on vacation for about a week, and from looking at the schedule of what's being released here pretty soon, I think the. Uh, uh, Oh my goodness, I can't remember. There's a couple of soaps. One of them is Liberty, I think, that's going to be released again for the summer. It's one I missed out on last year. I'm definitely going to try to get it this year. Just a little bit of feedback on the against green pass. It's 
one thing for sure though, <laughs> six ounces of soap is going to last you a good moment. I use a, uh, a baby spoon to scoop out the soap and I am, if you ever watch David Gonzalez's videos, talks about using uh, ample enough soap to give the soap a chance to succeed. And that's what I do. I put a good chunk, I mean a heaping sp baby spoon of soap in the bowl and press it down in there. And uh, so in other words, I don't skimp on the soap. Six ounces is gonna last you a good moment. Base feels really good, nice and smooth. Just a little bit right through there. In other words, after I shave with it a few times, I probably get a lot more proficient, but this is, my face is very smooth. <laughs> it's a great shave. Uh, how can you say it's That's pretty impressive. Uh, even starting out with a, uh, a persona blade, in other words, matches up right, just fine with it, just right up with it, man. That's a pretty good buy. And it's not heavy, like say one point, roughly 1.7 ounces approximately. When you convert from uh, grams to ounces, it figures out, I think it's 1.67 and it just keeps on trailing off. Yeah, <laughs> 1.67 is close enough. You're not gonna notice the difference in your hand, that's for sure. Just a little bit of steam right here on each side, just a little bit, not much. Wouldn't even, I didn't even notice it during the shave. Uh, just, wow, that's that's pretty impressive. That's a good buy. Glad I got it. May have to shave with this one a bit more. I have a bronze one that is like this one here. Of course, you know, it's made out of bronze. And it is a fantastic uh, uh, racer. In other words, goes right along with the name of the company, Timeless. Uh, yeah, this that these razors are going to be around for a good long moment. Take care of it. It'll be there for the next uh, person in their lifetime. It'll last you your la lifetime. But wow, this is this is an awesome buy. Cannot just cannot complain about it at all. Even the stand, I don't like I say I couldn't anything physically. I couldn't really couldn't find anything. It just. It looked like, how can you say, the real deal. Couldn't find anything wrong with it. There's just an ever so slight overhang of the blade right here. I don't know that it's going to be enough for it to matter to anybody that shaves underneath the nose. But there is just a tiny bit just sticking out on each side. Um, it's, it's a well-made razor. Wow. Awesome. Like I say, I'll be using the uh, aftershave bomb off camera. And I'll continue oohing and on off camera about this razor. Hey, it's a great shave. Uh, made short work of a day's worth of growth. Man, my face feels good. This is just awesome. Anyway, <laughs> hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe, stay healthy, and smooth shaves to you.